our journey begins on the MacLab vegetable page and you know animal mineral vegetable and scrolling down a little way this image you know right click and save it to your desktop and I'll open it up in Photoshop in a second and the reason I used it is because I thought why in the world did I put it in there and then somewhere around the middle of the page are these three pictures of a leaf and I used this one this was a day at the San Diego Zoo and it was kind of cloudy and a shaft of sunlight as I'm walking down one of the trails it, everything else is in shadow and it, this shaft is just lighting up this one area right here and this backlit leaf or well I guess it's forward but it was just beautiful and I thought you know I gotta get that and uh, those are the two images I use. The second image is kind of up to you, whichever one you want to try. We'll jump back over to Photoshop. I'll get out of this. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. And um, we'll leave these open. I'll just go ahead and open up on the desktop how to get into icon view. That's weird. Um, so <laughs> this is the image. We'll just go ahead and open that guy and what in the world just a bunch of brambles huh and i thought well maybe i wanted this for line texture there's a little rhythm in here um so how can i use this i was thinking what what can i do to make this interesting so i jumped that to a new layer hit command t to get transform i think that's under edit free transform there you go I don't go up there very often and then you start to rotate but hold down shift because I wanted to rotate this 90 degrees and then place this down here on the corner and I'm not sure if I use that side or this side I think I use this side who cares it's it's there so I'm gonna hit return accept that crop and then get the crop tool except that transformation rather excuse me and in the crop tool I changed this to square so I could get a perfect square and then click once and I'm gonna pull this up so I get just this bottom corner where I've overlapped the two images and this time I do want to delete crop pixels because it's an experiment and I just want this single area here without any confusion then I cycle through the blending modes you know command shift or shift plus excuse me <laughs> and um, you know which one is cool so command zero I ended up I'm not going to go through them all I ended up just um, settling on difference what's the difference between these two layers between that one and that one and I thought wow that's cool if we hit command one there's some really interesting things going on now I'm not going to take you through all those layers but I will show you two more things in this journey remember uh, there's a lot of things going on but you might notice you know, here we've got smart filters and I use find edges and I want to show you a couple things about this and then the color uh, blend mode that that led to this enhancement hey we've been enhancing in raw at the beginning of our journey um, for our creative journey what what happens when we want to do it in the middle okay so we'll get to those um, let me go ahead and create uh, an everything layer because this is a blend mode of difference I want to get back to just a normal blend mode and be able to do something with a filter on this so I'm gonna right click out here on the right hand side convert it to a smart object so we can always come back and see what we're doing go to filter stylize find edges and right away you know huge difference all of a sudden that happens with find edges and I changed this blending mode I cycling through again changed it to color and you know what happened do you see the difference if we go to command one you can see that before and after we're introducing 
a little depth in here with that color in the background and I kind of like that and then made another oh and before we leave if you want to get back to find edges you double click oh this doesn't have any settings so that's why nothing was happening there but if you double click on this you can change the blend mode of um, the find edges itself um, right here so we could change this another way to experiment so create another everything layer and here's where if I want to take something back through raw in the middle I do this little dance and there's probably a better way to do it but I want to select all those pixels we're not on the smart layer smart object so command a to here let me get to so you can see everything command a select it all so command d to deselect so you can see it command a command c copies those pixels command n gives me a new file now I always name this file zero and the reason I name it zero is because I'm going to replace it over and over and over again and it'll be at the top of my list when I go to search um, for where it is because I'm not going to reuse this file it's just something I can take through raw and now in this new file name zero command V to paste our pixels command E to merge downward and then command S to save it it's real important you don't have a bunch of layers here you want it just on one layer and I'm going to dump it out I'm going to have to show you guys how to change the color profile here so we're working in the right color space um, and now it's saved and I can close it command W it's gone but now I want to bring it back I want to open it in camera raw so now here we are in the middle of our journey and I'll just do something you know crazy so we see a bunch of difference and you know leave it at that and open the image okay now with the move tool I'm gonna click and drag this onto our other file and then hold down shift drop it it drops directly in place command D to deselect and you can see now we have brought this back command one brought this all the way back and changed it significantly whether that's for the good or bad that's for another discussion and um, we have our back from raw and we can you know title our layers and uh, you know I kept working on this I kept trying new things and I got it to a point and I said wow that's cool and totally worthless so let's come back and I'll show you what I did next